what is blockchain? It is highly probable that in late 2017, you heard about Bitcoin reaching the peak of around $20,000. You probably started reading about cryptocurrencies everywhere without really understanding where everything came from and how it worked. Well, Bitcoin, just like any other cryptocurrency, is based on a new technology called the blockchain. But concretely, how does it work? The blockchain is, well, a chain of blocks. And in each of these blocks is stored data. But let's take an example. Imagine two people, Scott and Jennifer, who are willing to trade together. Scott wants to give Jennifer $50. In our current way of doing things, Scott would enter his credit card information online to send a signal to his bank that he is willing to complete the transaction. The bank would then accept the transaction and send money to Jennifer. In this scenario, Scott isn't the one sending money. He only asks his bank if he can complete the transaction, and if his bank says yes, then he knows that the deal will happen. But what if the bank said no? What if one day you realize that you are not the master of your phones anymore? This concern is what has been driving the cypherpunk movement in the 90s to start developing a monetary system without intermediaries. And that is how blockchain appeared. Back to our example. Let's conduct the same $50 transaction, but on a blockchain. Instead of being validated by a single intermediary, the contract will now be verified by a network of computers and servers. Scott sends $50 to Jennifer. Each computer on the network will verify that the transfer happened the way it is said to. In a blockchain, everyone has a copy of the ledger which contains every previous transaction. Everyone can therefore verify that Scott has $50, which can be sent to Jennifer. In order to validate this transaction, the devices on the blockchain network must solve very complex cryptographic puzzles. This creates barriers regarding who can inscribe new information on the blockchain. When the puzzle is solved, it will allow the creation of a block that has an identification number called a hash, which is a name like Patrick, Kate or Jake. In our example, the block will only contain one transaction, but in reality, it can hold much more. Once everyone accepts the transaction, a new block is created with the updated information of the current situation, like time, date, the amount, and digital signatures. In order to add this new block to the chain and make it unalterable, we also inscribe its name in it and the name of the previous block of the chain. This ensures security and trust in the data. To sum it up, the blockchain is a system that removes intermediaries and allows people to exchange funds and goods directly in a very secure and trustful environment. The data written inside the blocks acts as a digital ledger, allowing everyone to see what happened, when, and to have full confidence in the fact that these information are correct. If you want to learn more about the blockchain and how it works, We've written a more detailed article on our blog that will take you even deeper into the subject. What we've seen today was just a glimpse of it. So don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter if you want to be notified when we release a video. Take care, crypto lovers.